the military base just got a huge rework, changing its animations and appearance, giving it a brand new airstrike ability, and greatly buffing its stats. In this video, I'll be showcasing all the stat changes, uses, and capabilities of this tower, and then giving my personal ranking. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. At level 0, its cost stayed at 400 cash. Its health increased from 25 to 30, but everything else is the same. At level 1, it still costs a total of 600 cash, but its health was increased from 25 to 30, and its spawn rate was reduced from 40 to 35. At level 2, it still costs a total of 1000 cash, and its spawn rate was reduced from 40 to 35. At level 3, its total cost was increased from 2200 to 2600 cash, its health increased from 60 to 90, and its spawn rate was reduced from 40 to 35. At level 4, its total cost increased from 8200 to 10600 cash, its health increased from 400 to 500, its bullet damage increased from 6 to 10, its cannon splash damage increased from 25 to 50, its spawn rate was reduced from 40 to 35, and its DPS was increased from 37.18 to 64.74. On top of this, it gained a brand new airstrike ability. When activated, you can target any spot on the map, and a bomber plane will drop 6 missiles, which each deal 75 damage. Finally, at level 5, its total cost increased from 34,200 to 34,600 cash. Its health increased from 1,200 to 1,500, its bullet damage increased from 16 to 24, its cannon splash damage increased from 60 to 80, its fire rate was reduced from 0.208 to 0.158, its spawn rate was reduced from 40 to 35, and its DPS was increased from 96.92 to 178.56. Also, its airstrike ability deals more damage, with each of its 6 missiles dealing 125 damage. The three most important changes are of course the increased DPS, the health of the vehicles, and the new powerful ability. If you want to use it in the early game, you should place a level 1 for 600 cash. The level 1 upgrade nearly halves the spawn rate for half the price of placing a military base, so it greatly increases its value. This can defend up until wave 5 on follow mode, and probably last a couple more waves on a longer map. However, it's extremely slow, and I wouldn't really recommend using it for the early game. The levels 0 to 3 didn't receive that big of a buff, getting a slight health increase and a 5 second spawn rate decrease. But things get a lot better after level 4. Not only did the tank itself get much stronger, the airstrike ability is a huge help. Since the military base can be a little inconsistent as you're forced to wait for it to spawn in, I'd recommend saving the ability and using it as a safeguard if an enemy is about to leak. This ability is fantastic against crowds of enemies, and it's super helpful that it can be used at any point in the map. If you manage to upgrade it to max level, which is quite expensive, the military base can do some serious DPS. While the railgun tank does an impressive 178.56 DPS, on average, that's kind of untrue. While there's usually one tank per military base on the map at all times, I'd say the tank actually only is attacking about 50% of the time. That would give it an average DPS of 89 9.28. But we also have to consider the collision damage of the tank and the airstrike ability. It has 1,500 health, and considering a spawn rate, that's an extra 42.86 DPS. You can use the ability every 45 seconds, and it deals 750 damage with its missiles. Although, you'll usually be using it over a crowd of enemies, so if we assume each missile is hitting at least 3 enemies, that means it deals a total of 2,250 damage, or 50 added DPS. If we combine all this, the max level military base has an average total DPS of 182.14. That's actually a lot, and considering it costs 34,600 cash, that's a value of 5.26 DPS per 1k spent. That's pretty good value, and an impressive max DPS. One disadvantage of this tower is that it has a placement limit of 5, meaning the most DPS you can get using it is only 910.7. That's not amazing, but not terrible either. Also, it's pretty unreliable, as it won't always be doing damage, so I'd recommend only using it as a sub DPS, and not spending all your money on it. If you manage to get all 5 military bases, there'll be a huge help in the late game, but that's kind of expected, considering you're spending a 173,000 cash total. Regardless, I say this was a great rework and turned the military base into a pretty solid tower. The ability is great and super fun to use, and the tanks have become much more powerful. Therefore, I'm going to rank this tower as a solid B tier. While the DPS can be really high, and the ability does great against crowds, it's held back by its inconsistency and low placement limit. But what do you guys think? Let me know your rankings in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. Also, if you want to talk to me, consider checking out my Discord. We got some pretty cool features, like a custom party find bot that will automatically pair you up with other people who are trying to do the same strategy. There's a link to the server pinned in the comments. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to these channel members for supporting my content. If you want to add me as a friend on Roblox or get early access to some of my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.